is darkness. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking to you guys about today. Diwali, the festival of lights. I'm your host, Yasmin, and welcome back to Echoes. to help us know a little bit more about Diwali and what the festival stands for are my three guests. So could you please introduce yourselves? You first. Hi, myself Ajinto Avna Srivastava. I am from Six Course and I am from the eastern part of India. Hi, I'm Pritam. I'm from Six Course too. I came from South India, specifically Andhra Pradesh. Even Hi, I'm, my name is Chetu. I am from 6th course and even I am from South India, we both are from same state, Andhra Pradesh. Nice, that's awesome. Okay you guys, so what exactly is Diwali? Uh, basically I think I don't need to give a bit description because it's a very famous uh, festival of India. Uh, it's not just confined to India, although it belongs to India, just like how we celebrate Halloween. Mm -hmm. um, so basically we think Diwali as a festival of lights. Uh, this Diwali actually represents about the victory of light over darkness, like victory of uh, knowledge and wisdom over ignorance, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so why is it celebrated? What is the reason well, for it? Well, there's actually a lot of uh, controversial or, I don't say controversial, but there are huge stories. Mm -hmm. uh, who follow different stories for the, uh, as a reason. Tell us one. <laughs> okay, the one which I believe the most is uh, about the large drama, mm. maybe you know about him. I don't know. Uh, the large drama actually, um, he belongs to India, mm -hmm. but uh, his wife was being kidnapped. It's, it's uh, Sita Devi by a, a Ravana, is a demon. Okay. Uh, maybe you know about the Sri Lanka, right? He belongs yes. to Sri Lanka. I've heard of that. So large drama with his crew, like uh, his brother Lakshmana, with his uh, assistant uh, Hanuma and his army goes to war against the uh, Ravana demon. Mm -hmm fight with him, kill him, and bring the Sita back to his place, his kingdom, Ayodhya. So on the way back, people uh, celebrate and uh, make path to Rama mm -hmm. by lighting the way. So, so yeah, that's how. And there are still many more stories about that. Okay. Like, this is my favorite. Give us one more story. One more? We, <laughs> it's a birth of Lakshmi. It's a Lakshmi Devi. It's a goddess of uh, wealth and prosperity. Mm -hmm. So we also celebrate it on the same occasion. Yeah. It's also about Lord Krishna. It's um, killing of another demon, okay. uh, Narakasura. Okay. So that's another story. Okay, interesting. Um, so Ajin, please tell us um, how do we celebrate Diwali? Okay, as for my childhood, as I know, we celebrate like first the common thing all over India. We celebrate like candle, not candle, like lighting a deepam. Mm -hmm. It's uh, made up of uh, mud. We bring it and we just keep the ghee, it's a like pure form mm -hmm. of the oil and we light it in the evening all over the home, gates, wherever we get. Mm -hmm. By lighting and like children, they like start playing the crackers, mm -hmm. celebrating the fun playing crackers and what moms and grandpa or the grandfathers and all these. What are crackles? These are the like uh, lights. Fireworks. 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 Okay. They use mm -hmm. like a lot. Mm -hmm. We pollute a lot. <laughs> yeah, we pollute a lot actually. Yeah. And See, was a uh, fun, but uh, like other people who are like our grandfather, grandfather, mom, everyone they should pray. God Lakshmi, God Ganesha, mm -hmm. and Rama, everywhere they make a rangoli. I think you know about the rangoli, what is that? Like, mm -hmm. uh, there's a different type of color and like uh, art you okay. should draw in the flow, which is different type of like in the gate, everywhere to me. Mm -hmm. And we pray. So, these lights, what do they do? What do they, uh, as he said, like, uh. Uh, victory of the light upon the darkness. Like same way, we keep the candles and we celebrate the light. Okay. And we get the positive energy in the home. Mm -hmm. Without any electricity, yeah. that day will be so bright. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You, can, uh, you can see For the light satellite. Like, so. mm -hmm. You know, that day. if you zoom in the Google Earth, you can find it in there. It's like brighting. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, um, so when is it celebrated? What are the specific dates? Uh, about uh, dates, actually we have our own calendar, according to that we follow the dates and we celebrate. Okay. 
I'll speak a little bit. We will celebrate in the month of uh, Kartika. Yeah, we call Kartika. It. Uh, it's because uh, we consider it as that month is the most darkest of the entire year. Kartika. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we find darkness there, the darkest mm -hmm. thing, and we light it up. Yeah. That's very interesting. There's one more reason why we uh, use lots of pyroxies, like, you know, that is the transitional season where we find the number of insects. <laughs> we give them with that. We give them with that. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay, so it's beneficial yeah, for you guys at the same time. No, like, we, children do. Like, mm -hmm. We have a child used to do. We catch them in a second, we just... We like and play. Yeah, yeah. Of course, but yeah. <laughs> Still, no, we won't. Mm -hmm. And it's fun. In the six years, we've missed a lot. Mm -hmm. um, what, I want to get a little personal. What was your favorite childhood memory of Diwali? Oh, oh, every Diwali, <laughs> yes, buying a box, a carton full of crackers, you know, that's really fun. <laughs> Counting them, yeah. playing, sharing with my brother, <laughs> it's fun. Nice. Okay, um, could you guys tell us a bit more of your cultural history about India as a whole? Um, as a whole, it's like, I can't even count how many festivals are there. Mm -hmm. Each day, if you think like each day, we have a different type of festival. Each day, mm -hmm. every state, mm -hmm. and every region have. So it's like countless. Major like we are having a twenty or thirty states. Each every weeks we have different holidays. festivals. No, okay. yeah, holidays plus festivals. Mm -hmm. And so, outside we celebrate actually uh, Durga Puja. It's famous only in South India, like South India mostly because Lakshmi Devi, uh, not Lakshmi, Durga was born in. South India, like Vijayawada. Who's Durga? Durga is God. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. He was bo bo born in Vijayawada, in my place. So we celebrate uh, for nine days. Okay. Recently, it was a uh, festival of Durga. Okay. And many other festivals there, like uh, Diwali and Durga Puja. Okay. Sankar Pongal is there, which is in January season. Like, uh, uh, as you say, the Pongal, right? Pongal. Mm -hmm. he call, they call us Pongal, Pongal, but our side. Like, uh, we used to call us uh, Sankranti. Okay. We have same festival but with a different name. Okay. So actually that festival Sankranti is uh, representing about the harvest. We get yeah. like the harvest. Yes. Okay. So we are rich in resource at that time. Okay. So we celebrate it. Okay. So during Diwali, is there a specific food you guys eat or not really? You have to remember that for <laughs> every festival <laughs> we will have as a different food. Different we enjoy food. That. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Diwali isn't is there any specific festival you guys have for food? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, there is Ugadi, like kind of Ugadi, maybe. Ugadi is actually our New Year. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So is there a special meal eaten on that day? Mm. Or just in general? Mm. No, we, for Ugadi we usually use as, uh, Ugadi chutney. Chutney? Okay, yes, what's chutney? chutney? Explain it to the viewers. Okay, it's a, it's a mixture of all the tastes you can ever find in this world. Mm -hmm. you know? It's okay. like bitter, uh, then sweet, then there will be so, then there will it's be... It's unexplainable in yeah, English, I so. <laughs> There are only a few tastes for English literature, but wow. for our language, we have our own age. Yes. Eight uh, different tastes. Yes. You know? It's difficult to explain, but yeah. we will feel all the tastes in that. I really like to try that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Watch us. Interesting. Okay, so as you guys are here as students in a foreign country, in a foreign world, how do you guys still bring Diwali here? Actually, first of all, when we, on the day of Diwali, we miss our home, mm -hmm. our mom, dad. So it's like, first of all, as we wake up, we just call our parents and visit them. We take the blessing from them mm -hmm. and later on, in our home mostly, first we take the bath and do puja, like candle. We'll light the candle, we'll pray to God, and in the evening we plan something with the friends among us, have a party. I heard recently you guys, your the Indian yeah. Association organized a Diwali dinner. How yeah. did that go? Uh, like first we make a plan, we successfully do everything. Uh, we saw our like diversity, how many cultures we have, cultural dance, mm -hmm. and then we, if we have enough resources to make Indian food, we'll make Indian food, serve them, and we'll tell about what is it, mm -hmm. and like this we enjoy. 
Yeah, with all the Nika works. Interesting. Yeah, crackers are difficult to find here. Really? Yeah, yeah. and it's too pressed. Oh, costly. Yeah, costly. Yeah, and I think so we need some permission. Okay, to, 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 okay to use them. But still, there are some crackers like we can buy and can bring home. Yes. I won't mention one thing about this party we had mm -hmm. because I think this is the only first biggest event where all the Indians celebrate yeah. together. Mm -hmm. Because every state celebrates their mm -hmm. own festivals, mm -hmm. but this thing which happened recently is the biggest event. All South Indians, North Indians, you might be knowing about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people don't like North, some people don't yeah. like South. Oh. You know, it happens. Okay. It happens always. But this festival <laughs> brings you guys all together. together. Yeah. Interesting. And like how we so we have a few clips and highlights of what the Diwali, the recent Diwali festival was all about. Take a look. Subcontinent, you must be knowing about that. Mm -hmm. We call it subcontinent because we have a wide diversity of uh, nature, climatic conditions, people, mm -hmm. culture, states, languages, clothing. Yes, everything is different. Mm -hmm. yeah, every state has its own language. It's a, it's a good thing or bad thing, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But definitely it's still, a good thing. It's still we are one. Yeah, yet still we are all one. Yeah. yeah. Yet still you guys are one. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us and thank you for your time and yes we're happy to be part, part of this okay so, so could you just say a little hi to the echoes people hi, hi. <laughs> all right guys i hope you enjoyed this show and their explanation of what diwali means to them stay tuned for more Keep watching Echoes TV. Like, share, subscribe to Echoes TV. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. They said it. Bye. 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 Bye.